Yeah. Because I'll be honest, you, if you don't like Dylan Lake Cry, you're not gonna like any of them. Oh, I well, I love uh, I love action RPGs, so I don't think there wouldn't be a reason for me to not love it. I, Red, would you consider God of War to be in the same genre as as Dylan Lake Cry? Because. Isn't God of War also a hack and slash? Hack and slash, uh, got, you gotta be a little specific there. Hack and slash is different than action RPG. So. Similar in some aspects, different in others. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. God of War is more hack and slash with RPG elements. But an action RPG is more like Kingdom Hearts. Um, or I guess Kingdom Hearts can have hack and slash elements in it. It's, it's closer to hack and slash. It's kind of in between. Um, we all know you want to play The Adventures of P2. The best game there is. I, I don't think there is a game called Adventures of P2. Of course there is. Of course. No one can get me with my money hood. Uh, God of War focuses on the more hack and slash elements, whereas Devil May Cry is focused on combos and weapon switching. Yeah, that makes sense. Another example of uh, uh, is uh, near games, like Near Automata. That's more. That's like. That that's more action RPG than it is hack and slash, though it does edge a little bit to the hack and slash side. Bayonetta is definitely hack and slash though for sure. Um, again, I have to play more in Bayonetta, but uh, another another thing. Well, uh, uh, I think a, the best example of a hack and slash is Hyrule, is the uh, the Dynasty Warriors games. So. Where you have a bunch of minor enemies that you just try to mow down. That's like pure hack and slash. So Don't get Rin started on that. He's going to make you play that. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, there are a lot of games I want to try to play. 